Hey guys, I'm Tom Walton and we're in the Patty's Kitchen cooking this week's market menu. Alright, caramelised Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love the little ones and the big ones. Chickpeas, hummus. Green chilli. Off to the Patty's Kitchen. And I am so excited to share this dish with you. It's some of my favourite ingredients, Brussels sprouts. And I know there's some lovers and haters out there, but this will turn a hater into a lover. Chickpeas, tahini and za'atar. And we are going to make crispy Brussels sprouts and chickpeas with hummus, maple, chilli and mint. So I love these flavours. I grew up in the Blue Mountains with a Lebanese neighbour and so my whole childhood was just surrounded by fresh produce, tahini, za'atars, spices, fresh herbs. And Brussels sprouts is, like I said, it's one of my favourite vegetables this time of year. So guys, the first thing you need to do for this recipe to get started is we're going to make some crispy chickpeas, which are like little chips and they're great to make as a snack, not just this recipe, so make extra. And what I do is I add a little bit of sweet smoked paprika, a drizzle of maple, and the maple is just going to help them caramelise up a little bit. Some olive oil. And a good crack of salt. And then we're just going to mix them up. And you can put other flavours on here. You can put rosemary, you can put chilli if you really want them spicy. And then I'm just going to pour them onto the tray. All the oil. And spread them out nice and um, on a nice thin layer. Don't let them overcrowd because you do want them to go crispy. And they're going to go into a preheated oven about 170, 180 for 30 to 40 minutes. And just keep checking them, moving them around so they're not going to burn or anything like that. So just into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes and you want them golden and crispy. But the next part of the recipe is just to cut your Brussels sprouts in half. And if they're a bit bigger, cut them into quarters. You can take the little um, little woody end off. All these sides are what are going to caramelise up and you get really nice crunchy Brussels sprouts, almost like chips. So guys, a good little tip is as, these, as you're cutting them, some little leaves fall off. Don't chuck them out or anything, hold on to them. And when these Brussels come out of the pan and they're all caramelised and the pan's hot, we're going to throw the leaves back in there and they're just going to wilt over the Brussels sprouts. And they just add a really nice green element to the dish. So again, trying not to waste it you know, wasting as little as possible. So we've got a nice raging hot pan. Not too raging, but nice and hot. A couple of tablespoons of um, olive oil. And then these Brussels sprouts. Straight in there. Generous pinch of salt. So I really love to pan roast these Brussels sprouts. Um, the whole pan goes in the oven, but if you don't have a pan that can go in the oven, you can just toss the Brussels sprouts in a little bit of olive oil and put them on a tray like we did the chickpeas and roast them until they're nice and golden. But if you can do it in a pan, you get a much better Brussels sprout at the end of it. And then some tossing action. All right, so they're getting a little bit of colour on them. The pan's nice and hot, so we're going to throw them in the oven. For about 15 minutes, you want them nice and golden. So this is about midway through cooking, they're getting some nice colour on them and getting a little bit crunchy. Probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Just give them a little toss around and then straight back in the oven. The last component of the dish is the hummus and hummus is so easy to make at home. If you're buying hummus, you shouldn't be, you should be making it at home. So you can buy dried, you can soak them, but tin chickpeas, just get a good quality one. Um, work, they work really well. So for this type, style blender, I've got a little bit of water in the bottom. I'm going to add the chickpeas. Grab any stray ones that try to run away. I've got quite a large clove of garlic here, so I'm probably going to use about half of it. If you like it more garlic, you use more. Some salt and some tahini. And tahini is what makes this really creamy. And then lid on. The longer you blend, the creamier it is. All right, we'll stop that before the motor burns out. And it'll last in the fridge for four or five days so you can make a bigger batch. So if you do make your hummus and it does come out a little bit runnier, add a little bit more tahini, because what tahini does, it's the sesame seed paste, it actually thickens things. So if you do want it a little bit thicker, add a little bit more tahini. If you've added a bit too much water or anything like that, and it'll just thicken it up and it'll become even creamier. So that's ready to go. Once our Brussels are there, we're gonna finish the dish off. Oh, these smell so good. Oh yeah. That's like an autumn day. All right. So they're looking great. 
caramelized nicely. You want them soft, like, yum. We've got some of these little Brussels sprout leaves. We're gonna add them in. We've got a little bit of chopped chili. All right, we've got this maple. Now we're not using much, just a drizzle. And then we toss that over. A little chop of mint, just rough chop it. And in it goes. Squeeze a lemon. And now these chickpeas, and we just give everything a good toss together. You got chili, you got some sweetness, you got crunch, you got the fragrance from the um, mint, everything like that. All right, guys, so this is the plate up, really nice and simple. We've got this creamy hummus we made before. We're gonna spoon that down, look at that. Chickpea cream, spread it out. We've got za'atar, so za'atar is like a dried wild thyme, it's sumac which is a sour berry and sesame seeds. And I go pretty nuts on that. Spicy, sweet, crunchy chickpeas. And this can be, you know, this is a vegetarian meal. It's a side dish to roast chicken, fish, roast meats, your Sunday roast, it's a snack. Lots of crunchy chickpeas. All these nice Brussels sprout leaves. So that's it guys, my beautiful caramelized Brussels sprouts with chickpeas and hummus. Brussels sprouts from right here, just behind me at Paddy's Markets. The freshest produce you can find. If you want the recipe, head to paddysmarkets.com.au and you'll grab the recipe there. And I hope to see you in the kitchen soon.